Okay, I have received this HP Omen laptop and it does turn on but it has no display. When I try to turn on it shows the light on keyboard. When I press the power button it displaying the light. Both fan spins but uh, after some time it's gonna spin uh, because it's not warm at the moment. When it's gonna get really warm both fan will start spinning. And now you can see it's the power light on the keyboard it is working working and there is no display no backlight issue nothing and if i try to check the voltages uh, on top of the board i can i can see on most of the coils has got uh, voltage but i'm unable to really flip the board because it's it is attached with the keyboard I don't know where are the power pad and as well as I'm just gonna look at it how we can flip the board and test the voltages first I'm just going to show you what are the voltages are available here five volt 2.84 1.22 and it has got zero now. five volts one point one seven and if I remove these uh, heat sink the processor and graphic card they are getting hot so the next step what i will go uh, what i'm going to do now and um, i will find a way how we can flip the board and turn on I'm, i will just pause the video and come back okay i have tried to find out uh, schematics and board view for this model and i was unable to really find it on google and now we are just left to fix this motherboard without schematics and as well as without a board view uh, one more thing i was unable to really see any of the any of the power pad because the power pad is easier i can turn on the motherboard on table and to trace the to trace the voltages at the back of the motherboard because at the moment I can see only I can only trace this area with the multimeter this one covered with the uh, heat sink because these two are getting really hot very quick and I'm not uh, risking to turn on the motherboard for longer time to really burn these two ICs <coughs> I'm going to turn on this motherboard on my table while, while removing these hinges and leaving this cover only that I can connect this with the keyboard and press the power button at the back and then I start testing at the back. Let me let me just go through with the process. I'm removing hinges. Okay, uh, I was able to create an environment where I can work and check 
the back side of the motherboard with the help of a multimeter without ripping the keyboard off the palm rest otherwise it's gonna be another because if i would not be able to fix this motherboard in that case i have to reattach the entire keyboard again on the palm rest okay now so long i'm not uh, i'm unable to find out the power pad on the motherboard and i have reattached the keyboard reattached the uh, heat sinks because both or both ic's are getting heat up and now i'm just putting like this in this case i'm able to turn on uh, turn on the laptop with the help with like this i can press the power button and see the light and as well as i can check the caps lock if there is any display now you can make an environment like this to really work on okay now we can start searching for the fault more easily rather before it was very hard okay i will start now okay without the schematics i'm just going to uh, test each of the ic around uh, like each of the ic voltage how i'm gonna do it i just normally do, do like this uh, with this kind of ic i normally uh, normally test each of the leg around based on my experience with this kind of ic if it has got three 0.3 volts on three legs most of the time this ic is good okay it's three point a multimeter is not accurate but it is good Okay, I also check the capacitors with the brown color, uh, light brown color. It is there is one capacitor capacitor type is light brown and one is dark brown. The dark brown, uh, it is a power line. I normally check each side of the capacitor if it is having any any sort of volt on it. If any of the IC is damaged or creating a short it would not have a volt around like i'm just going one by one in on each of the ic you can see because maybe you your motherboard might not have voltage but my one i already checked it and it is having volts all around i'm just going randomly like this to see if i'm able to see any missing volt this more likely is a ground because i will check it uh, while when i will turn off the motherboard and then put the multimeter into the beep mode if i'm missing a volt over here i will go for the beep mode remove the power and then test the beep on it to really make sure it is a ground or a short okay now i'm testing each of the capacitor I'm just going random to see if I'm having all the walls around the IC. Okay, capacitor one side is ground, one side is main line. I'm just testing one side. If it is working fine, that's okay. I will move for another one. Okay, this is I'm not having a voltage. I will check later on why I'm not having it's more likely it's a C type charger. Maybe this one is connected with this one. It does turn on a uh, turn off after some time. I have to really go back and turn on again. Now the fans are off.
normally if there is a problem uh, I will be able to see any missing bolts around the IC I'm checking each side of the IC that at the moment I'm not bothering where it is getting any voltage for powering up and releasing a voltage for another section but at the moment I'm just gonna checking what is going in and what is going out if it does I just move for another section I can go in details if any of the IC is showing any any missing voltage around but at the moment I'm, I'm suspecting that this this laptop might be having a graphic card issue but not at the moment until unless I check the short around or a voltage okay what once um, there are two types as of my experience there are two types of lines inside the motherboard one is a power line and the second one is a data line the first thing what I do I just normally check if I do not have a schematics and board view I normally check uh, I normally check the voltage on power line I just go around and check the voltage here and there and then uh, I go for the data line, but the data line I'm I do not have an oscilloscope right now to really go and measure and even though there is no point to measuring a data line because if I'm not having an oscilloscope with me Okay, there is another method I normally use uh, For the data line if I'm sure uh, most of the major volt and uh, volts are, are on the motherboard is uh, I'm having a voltage on all around motherboard but still there is no display then I go for the second method that is the cleaning of the motherboard uh, cleaning of a motherboard I normally use a razor blade to really clean the IC's IC legs and then go for the heat option and then go for the cleaning option with the help of if every if, if with the help of petrol if it doesn't work then I go for with the surf because the, the main point is over here you need to make sure the motherboard has got all the voltage it requires to really turn on at the moment I can't see any any missing voltage uh, with overview but I will go in more details uh, I will pause the video and come back okay I, I was able to trace some of the issue over here is one of the capacitor is missing over here and I called the customer and check with him and he said he's been to another shop to really fix this one and they were unable to fix it I might suspect now that there might be some more smaller component missing in later video I will do a microscopic view and until then I will just stop the recording now and I will go for another video to really continue this job